Hello and welcome to the Chickadee Knitting Club. My name is Caitlin and I am so excited to teach you the purl stitch. No, it's not like pearls, like things you find in oysters, but purl, P-U-R-L. As you'll soon find, it is the exact same as the knit stitch, but a little opposite. If you haven't quite mastered the knit stitch yet, I recommend that you go and do that first. Maybe even watching the tutorial I have on it. That way you will be extra prepared for the purl stitch. And just for clarity's sake, throughout this video, I'm gonna be referring to the knit stitch as knitting and to the purl stitch as purling. Are you ready to learn the purl stitch? Then let's get started. All right, let's learn the purl stitch. The purl stitch is very similar to the knit stitch, and it uses a lot of the skills that you've already learned in the knit stitch. And so, unlike my knit stitch tutorial, I'm not gonna be walking through the steps quite as meticulously. But just like when you're learning how to do the knit stitch, I highly recommend repeating the steps that you're not quite confident in yet. Practicing over and over again will help you master the purl stitch. Do you remember the rhyme that we learned for the knit stitch? In through the front door, around the back, through the window, off jumps Jack. For the purl stitch, it's a little different. I like to say, in through the side door, over the top, through the back, and off you pop. Let's try that. So we have our needles and we have our cast on stitches. Do you remember the first part of that new rhyme? In through the side door. And sort of like it sounds, you're gonna take the needle and slide it in through the side of that first stitch. Not through the front, like we learned for knitting. We're mixing it up and going in through the side. In through the side. One more time, in through the side. You'll notice that the needles are crossed in the front. When you're knitting, the needles cross in the back. But because purling is the exact opposite of knitting, going in through and crossing at the front. Now the next step is over the top. That one's pretty simple too. You're gonna take the yarn that you would go around the back when you were knitting, and this time, you're just gonna take it over the top of the needle. Let's try that again. Just take it over the top. And one more time, over the top. Remember to hang onto that thread so you don't lose it. Now you see the little window that we've made? I'm just gonna poke it out the back. Holding on to your thread, take the tip of the needle and poke it out the back. And one more time, out the back. And the very easiest step is the last one, which goes off you pop. So you just pop that stitch right off with the other needle. And again, give it a nice tug. And you've done it, your very first purled stitch. Let's go all the way down the row. In through the side door, over the top. Poke out the back, and off you pop. In through the side door, over the top. Poke out the back, and off you pop. In through the side door, over the top. Poke out the back, and off you pop. And get a little closer. In through the side door, over the top. Poke out the back, and off you pop. In through the side door, over the top. Poke out the back, and off you pop. 
three more stitches in through the side door over the top poke out the back and off you pop in through the side door over the top poke out the back off you pop last stitch in through the side door over the top poke out the back and off you pop well done making your very first purled row when you're doing the purl stitch remember to keep the yarn in front of the needles at all times you'll notice that the little bump of the stitch is landing in the front of the needles instead of at the back like when you're doing the knit stitch and if you do the purl stitch over and over and over again, you'll find that it's kind of looking exactly like the garter stitch that we did when we did the knit stitch over and over again. That's because the purl stitch does the exact same thing as the knit stitch, just on the opposite side of the needle in an opposite kind of way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was a helpful tutorial to teach you the purl stitch. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video's post on my Instagram at the Chickeny Knitting Club on Instagram. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be combining the knit stitch and the purl stitch to create a brand new stitch called the stockingette stitch. I'll see you then.